Tech Rich here, or RVH4350, here to talk to you guys about Windows 8.1 Update 1. Now, we're on the desktop menu right now, so let's go to the start menu. Now, this update was mainly for the mouse oriented people. Now, for touchscreen, there's really not many advances for it, but you still have a great update, which it fixed bugs and other things like that. So let's get started. Basically, here's the start menu. It looks exactly the same except for two things right here. You have the search button, which you get to click, and then you get to search. And then you have the power button, which you get to sleep, shut down, or restart. Now, I agree with the power button because a lot of people hate where you have to open up the charms, hit settings, hit power, and then hit shut down. But the search thing I find kind of odd because you can just type and it opens up search so that's what I find odd and another thing I find odd is that they didn't add the time up there so you still have to use one of these apps to show the time and then they also didn't show the power which um, is odd for um, laptop users because they still have to open up the charms menu and it still doesn't even show you a percentage so I find that incredibly odd why they didn't add that but that's what Microsoft wanted and I can't really disagree with them because I don't work with them but that's my my two cents on it anyways let's go to the apps part so when you used to right click one of them and this is the same for touch users it basically you right click and then there's a huge selection of things you can do right here and you used to right click and then bring your mouse all the way down here and then click on it it was kind of a lot of mouse users hated that so Microsoft responded to that by right clicking now and you get to do whatever you want by a context menu. So you can unpin from start, pin to taskbar, uninstall, resize, and do whatever you want. So let's pin this to taskbar. Alright, and what does that mean? Well basically, let's go back to the desktop. Now you can pin start menu apps on your desk, um, desktop uh, start bar. So basically, or taskbar. So let's open up the store. So I'm going to open it up and as you can see, you have the taskbar right here. And so and then when you move your mouse off of it, it disappears. Now to bring it back up, you put your mouse at the bottom of your screen, you move your mouse and it should pop up again. It's kind of a little bit of a lag, but it still works. All you just do is move it back and forth and then it'll pop up. So basically, you just bring it all the way down it popped up. You bring it all the way up and then here's um, a bar that you can use. So basically if I right click on the bar, if I right click on the bar where this button is, I get to have options. So I get to split to the left, split to the right, minimize instead of having to drag it and move and pin stuff like that, which was kind of a pain. You also get to minimize the app and X out of the app. So that's two great things that they added for mouse users. And then also with a the store, they've added um, categories, which you used to have to um, right click on the app to see all these categories, which I find is also good. So let's, let's close this using the mouse. Cut. So let's close this using the mouse way. As you can see, it sends me back to my desktop. Now you're wondering, well, what if I close it using the start menu and then close it using the normal old fashioned way? It still sends you back to your desktop. Now, if you're a touchscreen user, you're going to hate this. So, here is what I'm going to tell you how to fix this. You right click and you go to properties. And you see it says show Windows Store apps on the taskbar. So basically what that means is that if I open Internet Explorer and then it shows right here that I have Internet Explorer open. So when I uncheck this and then hit apply, it disappears. So now when I open up the store app, it no longer shows the minimize button and it also when I exit out, it sends me back to my start menu. So basically this will help out for touch users, but if you're a mouse user, I would recommend having you show Windows Store apps on the taskbar, but it's entirely up to you. Another thing I would like to tell you guys about is how 
modern UI apps look on the taskbar. So let's open up one. Alright, and let's go back to your desktop. And here, let me open up Internet Explorer to show you something. So basically, since Windows 7, you, you can go over to it and a little window show up showing how it looks. And so, this happens, same thing with the modern UI apps. You just hover over it, and then you get to hit exit, and it closes out of it. You can also close it by right-clicking and click close window. So, same thing with this. And you can also unpin them just by right clicking and hitting unpin. Another thing I would like to tell you guys about is Internet Explorer. Now in Internet Explorer 10, which came with Windows um, 8, you used to be able to open up a link with your pop-up blocker being high without allowing the site to um, do pop-ups. So basically, let me put this in um, an easier point of view. So let's go to my pop-up blocker, and let's go to settings, and let's go to high, and then let's click OK. Now let me Google search something like Pi, and let me right-click, and click open a new tab. Now you see, it says Internet Explorer blocked the pop-up from Google. However, when I right-click, and hit open link in a new tab it opens the link in a new tab so this is why I said the update was mainly for mouse oriented people because they really did not do any updates regarding touch another thing I forgot to mention before I let you guys go is the settings you can also pin this to um, um, to your ta taskbar as well but also it shows that you can click the control panel from here, although it opens it up on your desktop. But it also has some new settings in it. I won't go through all of them because some of them change between desktop and touchscreen computers. But it still has a lot of cool things, and you guys get to check it out on your on your own. But um, of course, and it still have a OneDrive right here, so it switched from SkyDrive to OneDrive. But yeah, that's basically Windows. 8.1 in a nutshell. So, um, any com uh, anything I messed up, put in the comments below. If you want, if you have something, a suggestion for Microsoft, put it below. And please like this video because it makes, um, well, it makes me feel better, and also it makes me see which videos are good to do keep doing. For example, I'm not gonna do one of the like start menu uh videos because that got terrible likes so yeah if you like if this video is good i'll keep doing videos like this if it's bad i'll stop doing it so yeah there you go